Hello everyone, and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Uh, today we actually get to start with uh, some of the more day-to-day -day stuff I usually do. And oh, th this should also be an opportunity really for me to talk about some of the stuff I never actually got around to uh, introducing. Like, I mentioned that this was kind of part of a big recent content patch, right? There are other regions of the game uh, if you ever want to trade that tactics, happened first always ready. Uh, that I never really got around to uh, uh, watching on. And we start with Catherine. Uh, so Catherine is the receptionist for the Adventurers Guild, as her title states. Uh, the Adventurers Guild has a branch in every nation. Uh, currently, there are three nations available to uh, players. Uh, more come out. More should be coming out in uh, later patches. There's a nation for every element, and there are seven elements in the game. More on that later. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Let's dispatch characters on expeditions. Uh, so... It's a bit, you know, out of, a bit without color, this version of the map, but uh, what we're looking at now represents uh, the, uh, represents Mondstadt, the land of freedom. Mondstadt represents Animo, which is the element of air. Let's collect my adventurers. Yay! Rock! And move on to Olile, the uh, nation of contracts. Uh, Olile represents Geo, the element of Earth. And now, uh, where we are right now, Inazuma, the uh, I'm not sure if they want to go with land or nation, but it's one of those two, or maybe both, of eternity. And as we've... As you can probably guess if you watched uh, the previous episode, uh, Inazuma represents Electro, uh, the element of electricity. Now, this whole thing... Uh, is... This expedition system is a way to gather a number of materials in the game without uh, like working too hard at finding it yourself out in the world. Uh, I've collected a lot of rocks this way. Uh, I'm pretty certain everything Nearly everything I collect from uh, this system, I believe most of it actually comes from this system. However, uh, a lot of it's not very useful to me. I don't... The rocks I just collect for um, one of the daily battle pass things, which we should actually take a look at now. This is the battle pass, and this is how I, uh, this is how objectives are claimed for their points. Then, whenever you gain a battle pass level, uh, you can claim the rewards on the first tab. Uh, so yeah, usually I just uh, send people on rock collection duty, uh, strictly for, uh, advancing the battle pass. Uh, everything else, like, I just kind of collect because uh, they're ingredients for cooking, but I never actually got into the cooking thing because uh, making good use of food requires a lot of pausing, uh, either as a setup to combat or even mid-combat. Uh, food can be used as a quick way to heal thanks to uh, the reputation system. Uh, 
But I can't make good use of it because, uh, well, the key I use uh, to toggle walking is also the same key that is used for activating gadgets, and I can't, uh, I can't make them a different key because every time I try, uh, let's see, key bindings. Uh, so, here is a switch, walk, run, down to Z. A little further down, here we go, quick use gadget, also bound to Z. I bind one to, say, left control, that immediately binds the other thing to the same key. I believe it, I believe this is intended to uh, make it so keys... Uh, features that are meant to be mapped to the same key uh, are always mapped to the same key. So they shouldn't, like, conflict or anything. But when gadgets were introduced, there was a bug in the, uh... There was a bug for gadgets that prevented the key from actually changing, even though the system said it was successful. And... I needed to free up, uh... I believe it actually is left control. That's the default key for walking. And I needed to free that key up for uh, co-op one time. And I chose Z as uh, the throwaway and forgot to change it back in time for uh, gadgets to be fixed. Oh boy. That was a tangent. Whatever. Um here. Other day-to-day -day things I need to do. So all of these uh, purple diamond things represent uh, daily missions I can do. Uh, doing them is not only a way of earning primo gems, but doing all four for the day also gets you some bonus primo gems after talking to Catherine. Let's see what we got. Dangerous Hall. Ooh. It's an escort commission. Actually, no. It's a reverse escort commission, if I'm not mistaken. I think Dangerous Hall, I have to beat the card up. Huh. Yep. That's the thing. Alright. Uh, I think actually just Klee will work. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, let's actually add Fischl to the mix. Whoa, hang on a second, that's cheating! Let's see what happens. I briefly saw that I was affected by one of the, uh, uh, by the nature element, yeah, right. Dendro. Yeah. Yeah. That makes us with fire. Oh boy. <laughs> there we go. go too bad. I was kind of worried, really, uh, how long I was going to be floating above uh, Klee's attack range, or attack arc. So what do we have over here? Uh, spreading evil. Alright. Uh... Spreading evil usually uh, pits us against one particular enemy type very consistently. And it looks like uh, they're not changing that 
Actually, they've added a new one to this, it seems. Owie. I wanna go home now. Darn it. <sighs> Sorry, Klee. Okay. That makes things a little trickier. dudes with the barriers are full of this mages. Uh, they're not really new to the game. I'm fine. Uh, however, this electro variety uh, most certainly is new, and I'm not oh, used to... I'm not used to uh, their moveset right now. There's a bubble over there. Sakura Bloom! Uh, fish should do, uh, be able to take care of this. Hey! I'm actually surprised I was able to reach that even with the jump. What is this bub- oh, hello. the sealy along. Let's dance. Hey, swimming. So yeah, uh, what's it called again? Uh, spreading evil, right? Well, spreading evil always seems to uh, have an abyss mage at the uh, center. But uh, this is the first. This is the first like version of the game to feature uh, electro. Abyss mages. They usually only, they used to only come in pyro, uh, hydro, and uh, cryo varieties: fire, water, and ice. Okay. Increasing danger. Kind of like how, uh, um, kind of like how Dangerous Hall was the, uh, reverse, um, the reverse escort. Increasing danger is usually the reverse, uh, tower defense. And once you're going in there, busting the towers. Let the show begin. seeing one tower. We also have some roadblocks. Hey guys! Okay, so there are two uh, towers. Oh! See you. Burn. There we go. That actually completes that. That's really all you need to do. 
for uh, increasing danger. Let's stick around and beat these guys up though. Just have one left. <laughs> Crackling crisis. Uh, usually, with a name like that, uh, slimes are involved. I'm guessing these are going to be electro slimes, though. them for now. Oh. Okay. Not what I expected. Uh, yeah, this seems to be the center. What's going on? Frozen. Oh. Uh-oh. Put your back into it! I don't like these guys. are just lightning bolts that are uh, raining down. I'm assuming it's part of the challenge. By royal decree. There we go. That was not at all as I was expecting. I really thought I'd be fighting electro slimes. Good on you for surprising me. That is also another battle pass thing in the bag. Alright. Oh, well, let's see, can I... Ooh. Alright. There's a thing over here. I wonder if I'll be able to make it with this one. Stamina, darn it. Uh, yeah, failed to get it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Another test subject. Oh, you're in the air. Okay, I think I know well, what's going on. Because there was a tether when I collected this one the first time around. Maybe that one will produce a tether. Uh, I'm out of stamina again. Still marked on the map. Uh, there you are. Dang it.
Well, I think this is just a matter of tricky, uh, a tricky tether usage. determined hmm. give this one more shot not quite sure It's a matter of positioning uh, and distance, right? Well, maybe not so much distance. Alright, because I feel like I'm getting just as close. It, no matter how far away, no matter how far down I am when I uh, trigger the uh, pull. I don't think I, uh, yeah, okay, so go for the one that's in that bigger bubble after telling Catherine, uh, Add Astra um, Abyssos. Good of an adventure, I bet. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Claim daily commission reward. Character I chose at the very start of the game. Restaurant? Known as the Traveler. At the start, you get to pick be uh, between either him or his twin sister. And then, uh,. It doesn't really change uh, the story in any way. Uh, but whichever you pick uh, is who you have for the entirety of the rest of the game. You're never going to get the other one. And I'm pretty certain they function exactly the same. First, let's grab the uh, bubble uh, that was over here. Here we go. I'm out of stamina already. Never mind. Let's uh, wait. You give this the best shot. Let the show begin. That reduces the amount of stamina I use, uh, I spend over time. Yay! Got the electroculus! Or however that's pronounced. This is number 18, which means we can pay a visit to a special statue. Statue of the Seven. Just as, uh... Each of the nations that are expected to be seen uh, represent one of the seven elements in the game. Each element is also represented by uh, a god in the game. And these statues uh, are made in honor of that god. Worship statue. Offer all 18, please. Here we 
we go. Hey, it's that just little, a little light. That little bottle of purple stuff uh, is quite handy. Show us a constellation system. Every character has a constellation. Uh, with the sole exception of the chosen character at the start, uh, the only way to get more of these for the other characters is generally to earn duplicate versions of them, uh, either through gacha or as part of events. Uh, but the chosen character earns their things in, uh, uh, well, you, saw, you just saw one method for how they're earned. And I believe I'm actually about to put on display no need to fear it on the open ocean. other way that they're earned. Lesson. At least for this uh, patch. Sacred Soccer Tree. You can earn up to six of them for a given constellation, and each one pretty much adds some kind of bonus. Uh, to the character's abilities. Fortunately, there's at least one in character in particular who really breaks if you actually unlock their final thing. Uh, but in most cases, the constellation, uh, each constellation thing is a straight upgrade. I almost have enough for two levels. Dang. Alright. So, yeah. Um. Those electro. Uh, sigils uh, that I've been collecting. I think so far. I know I get a few from the upgrading the statue of the seven in the region. Uh, you get most of them, I think, from chests, actually. And the Electro Granum level thing, I believe, is represented by these icons. I'm currently sitting at level 3, having the tree here upgraded to level 7. The next upgrade's at 10, and then I guess the upgrade after that's at 13. Nice. Uh, and I guess I was actually wrong about, uh, the additional constellation upgrade for my chosen character. I don't see it in any of the previous levels. we do something that's on a schedule Our map is feeling a little unresponsive at the moment I wonder why e so we're going this way because uh mentioned last episode I'm working on leveling Ayaka. At the time of recording, the current 5-star banner character. The thing I'm about to get from this dungeon is used to upgrade her specifically, but the weapon I've given her is upgraded by one of the materials found where we're going. Okay. Uh, something bad happened, evidently. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Uh, oh, wow. I wonder why I suddenly lost connection. And I guess I'm getting kicked back to the main menu. BRB. Oh, never mind. I'm not kicked back to the main menu. I actually just was brought back here, where I wanted to go in the first place. Being a little more full of floor. So, 
All of these places I can visit are on a kind of schedule. Uh, each one appears uh, three times a week. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so three times a week. Sunday is the only day in which all of these things are available. Any other day, uh, I'll either hope that the material I'm after, uh, the set of dungeons I'm after, is on for that day, or I'll just have to wait for later on in the week. Fortunately, it's Sunday now, uh, as, uh, well, if anyone here has played Genshin Impact before, it's pretty obvious. The game is feeling really weird right now. The character will be periodically inflicted with slowing water, greatly increasing your skill's cooldown duration until the inflicted hydro element is removed. Fortunately, I've never learned how to deal with this kind of thing. Um, it's my understanding that it's possible to uh, kind of cleanse uh, these debuffs, but I don't know how. And I get to actually commit the time to learning. Odds reveal thyself. It was weird the audio disappeared on me for a moment. And I think I was a little late in launching Fish's bird. Oh yeah, that is a quite the extended cooldown. Rat. As you wish, main Fräulein. Yikes! You. Eyes on me! for me, Bubble. Ah. Hit me. was a boss I fought at the end of last episode. Oh, the rewards here cost resin, but uh, unlike the boss, I have a choice of the type of resin. You can use either original resin or condensed resin, which is basically uh, just if you ever want collecting the tactics, reward I'm twice in one run. It's kind of what I want. Material. I don't think that'll be enough, but so the weapon I want to upgrade is pretty much on its final step. Uh, here we go, the Favonius Sword. No, not refine. Here we go. Uh, so the only thing I need is two of these golds. Now I can make more. Uh, if I have enough material, uh, it costs like three of the lesser material to make one of the better material. But let's see, uh, if I have enough to make two more golds, uh, is this, yeah, this is it. Uh, 
Uh, so let's see here. Three of these makes one blue. I was with eight, so I can only make two more purples, which would... So I definitely only have enough for one more gold. Ah, cold beer after a hard mm. day's work. Nothing like it. Yeah, just to be on the safe side. Let's do one more run. Alright, maybe a less scuff start? Oh yeah. That was definitely a much uh start. Richard Bird Oz is on a much shorter uh rest for the weekend. Right now. Oh. I don't like that bubble because it does a lot of damage. Wait, let's go into healer mode. Okay, definitely have enough material now. One more thing I want to do, uh, particularly here because it's a new area. I want to hunt down these ley lines. This specific reason, I need more of these. things produce some kind of combat challenge and I'm guessing someone really wants me to blow up. That's not happening. In the mix. Oh, she, she shielded herself. Owie, owie. Oh, that's a lot of elements at once. Out of my sight. Hello. Eh. Oh, nut. I 
have no idea how much stuff I earned because I wasn't paying attention. So I was being shot at. Oh. Interesting. I should have busted up these uh, hilly turtles before starting that ley line. There's a chest in there. Um, I wonder, can I go through that shield wall? Are affected by Electro? Except I can't self-inflict Electro, unfortunately. Alright. Looks like the ley line didn't move too far, and there's enough chest to open. Another mysterious conch. So difficult. Then again, I wasn't being blasted by hilly trolls outside of the uh, intended war zone. All right, what am I getting this time? Nine of the purple uh, experience items. More like it. setting up its, uh, owl. Angry lightning tree. Uh, oh, what did I just do? Because the battle pass thing is saying I did something. Oh, rain challenge is nice. Another test subject. Leave the darkness. Come, never next. Want to taste a big hammer? Direct the test subject. By royal. This is a lot easier. That was the last of my condensed resin. Spent two at the uh, domain, and I spent three on these ley lines. Cancel navigation, so you're not flashing on my mini map anymore. 
Get a quest going. Whose quest? Uh, it's part of a series that, uh, just, I don't know, it, it's like, there's a new one every day so far. I don't know if they're just uh, being unlocked daily, because there were a few quests in the line that I could do right away and then it just became a new one every day. Finally, at long last, it is done. Fortunately, I remember these specifications. So, we're going in to purify the Tatarigami energy, right? Uh, then? Well, as much as I would love to get in there and wrap this up, we must not act so rashly when faced with the Tatarigami. Moreover, with some of the required materials I simply could not find, so I had to make do with some last-minute substitutions. The result being that the reliability of this device is somewhat... Hmm. Well, let me just say that in some circumstances, it may not achieve the desired efficacy. It can be used normally just fine, yes, but I doubt that it can withstand any accidents. The slightest jolt will likely knock some of the components out of place. As such, we still require a little more preparation before we can put our new friend here to work. Uh... I'd like you to go near the, Mik the Mikage Furnace and record some data for me. Uh, consider it done. Uh, thank you very much. I'll be waiting for you here. Okay, it sounded like it was going to be like the last in the chain at first, but now I'm not so sure. Ooh, take pictures. Oh boy. Uh, start healing up. Now I need to go into- ooh! That'll be helpful for a little while. That protects me from this uh, environmental effect that's going on. Okay, uh, so I guess I want to take a picture of the bottom of the furnace. Something? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and take photo. <laughs> uh, there's Beto's, uh... Yep. jug of her favorite beverage of choice. Oh. Yo. Here we go. being as quick as possible. Interesting. Seems being affected by Electro might actually protect me from the environment as well. Oh, photos. Uh. Ah. 
All right. Let the show begin. Since there's a chest here, let's just grab it. I keep getting clean kill. <laughs> I'll protect us. Oh, I'm so close to being able to revive Klee. Oh, reveal thyself. out of here. Back, Xavier. Oh, have you scouted the situation out? That I have. Mit. Mit. Give. Great, let me see. We're in luck, it seems. Uh, the Mikake furnace is quite stable, and the energy within is not yet oversaturated. At this level of concentration, my device will still hold out. So we need to purify all that, en uh, all that energy? This device could do that. Why, I would have applied for a patent long ago, but our fine friend here can only decrease the energy level in a localized area. However, the reason for the deactivation of the Mikake furnace is, and the failure of even its auto restart program is the high saturation of Tatarigami energy. As long as we find the area with the highest concentration and purify it, we should be able to restart the core. At that point, the Mikage furnace should restart, and beyond that point, any further issues will not be our concern. That's the plan, but before we execute it, I still have a few final preparations to make. I have to wait another day. Check out... Uh, the board over here. I did mention the reputation system. This guy marked with the triangle icon is how I can further my reputation uh, in Inazuma. Fortunately, I have not done enough to gain more. I need to do more side quests. Or open more chests or something. I need more exploration value. When the uh, reputation system was introduced, I had already done so much in the two regions that were available at the start uh, that I could just jump into the, uh, the meat and potatoes of the reputation system, which was the... Uh... Well, let's just bring it up again. Bounties and the requests. The bounties are just like... Uh, Go here, uh, knock that out, and the requests are like random side quests that usually involve uh, cooking something or finding uh, a material item.
And the reason to advance reputation is mainly for more recipes. Stuff. Let's see, uh... We try searching for that, uh... We're actually right in the right area for it. Uh, yeah, we should try searching for that barrier again. That was where we got the ward. Ah, darn it. I was hoping the last stick of healing would go to Klee. this last barrier be? I guess I will try going out there. Surprise. Let's get there we go. I'm really surprised that I didn't attract any aggro whatsoever. You know a thing or two. Finally, I... Just Barbara and Flea. There's a big fox statue. Tiny fox statue. We'll deal with that in a moment. <laughs> oh, this was uh, kind of dangerous. I need to let my I'm gonna. Oh, actually, I have enough stamina to the speed swim to safety. <laughs> go. Like they might be asleep, but uh, the only reason why they kind of look like they're asleep is because they're moving, twitching. All right. Uh, feel flee, and then it's back to Beto. time about this game uh, is that uh, 
the amount of distance you can cover over a period of time uh, is affected by your active character's uh, height and for some reason gender as well. Uh, most of the time, uh, well, in every uh, situation, the taller the character is, uh, the more ground you're going to cover over the same amount of time and stamina spent. Uh, in most situations, it's ideal to be playing a male character uh, for travel. Uh, but when it comes to swimming, uh, specifically, uh, female characters are the best at it. In fact, males are so bad at it, at least when it comes to not speed uh, swimming, that even the uh, shortest of the female characters, such as Klee, uh, will win in a swim race, in a swimming competition. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm beginning to think that this is where the last barrier was. Um, oh, oh dear. I guess that's why that's there. Those are the electro slimes I was expecting to find. Oh, yep. Oh, I'm glad I came out this way. I'm on tingling all over. Well, since actually Paimon's name came up, I should probably just quickly explain here. This is Paimon. The best traveling companion ever. I think that's what's one of the loading screen tips, uh, sometimes say. Alright. Ooh, you look like a card. Or maybe a kite. Surrounded. Okay, so the middle's the start. Now I just have to decide on which corners are actually the second and then which are the third. I'm thinking this one is correct. This one's not correct at all. Sorry, uh, would suddenly appear behind us. But whatever the case, this is the fifth and final route. Paimon was sure that after this last one, she would suddenly appear behind us with a poof and give us the treasure. Oof, what do you mean? Pretty sure I'm dying right now. Uh, well, like poof, what else is it supposed to be like? Anyway, guess we finished the Sacred Sakura Cleansing Ritual. Uh... Looks kind of breezy. For sure. Walked almost the entire Narukami Island and even went to the bottom of the sea. Paimon is so tired. Uh, guess it's okay? 
Didn't Miss Mask Maiden say that we should go back to her after purifying all five roots? I'm unsure we'll I'm unsure we'll get a reward. Astra, let's get the let's enter the barrier in the well in Konda Village to find her. I'm on's ready for that treasure. As long as it's not tanuki food again. Oh. I was not dying. Thank you. Alright, so I think I was mostly for that chamber, so let's get the steely to wherever it wants to go. The little things they like to slot themselves in are called Sealy Courts, by the way. Oh yay, out of the uh, danger zone. Uh, there you are. end up on the inside of that uh, island with the... actually... Okay, yeah, we are where I was thinking we were. Right underneath that island, I had the big bubble around it. Ah, oh, missed. Oh, hey! Pearl Bloom. I kinda left the Sealy alone, so I need to go back down there anyway. Darn it! Up tree, and there's its court. <laughs> Alright, where's the Sealy? There you are. Double check for treasure real quick before turning in uh, the cleansing quest. It doesn't look like there is any real treasure. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Another enigmatic page. you want to fall down. <laughs> Kinda hoping that would do something. Guess not. statues. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, wait a second. Oh, we shall not fail you, Lady Saigu. Or Saigu. Uh, only one line. Uh, the Konda clan will keep this key safe. Being affected by Electro is not enough. I need to find one of those granums. Been here before. I could actually go in the back way if I wanted to, but I wanted the front way. Here's the thing for the front way. This is where it all began, kind of. It's Masked Maiden, we're back! You did a wonderful job. I can hear the Thunder Sakura Root singing your praises. I have something to confess to you. Go ahead, tell us. What is it? When you first acquired the Konda Village Ward, I said that you were the destined one. In truth, I didn't have full confidence in your virtue and courage at that time. As the cleansing ritual progressed, you not only showed me my folly, uh, but you also far exceeded my expectations, so much so that I can't help but feel sad. If there had been someone like you by the Kitsune Saigu's uh, side, then perhaps... Uh, nothing. I was just rambling. Well, that's a wrap, then. What's a reward? Uh, this isn't over yet, is it? No, it isn't expected of the one who could easily lift the five barriers. Oh boy, something's in my throat. expected of the one who could easily lift the five barriers. You have the ability to see through things like the moonlight pierces the clouds. The sacred sakura cleansing ritual has one more step to go. What, there's another step? The price for protecting the land and absorbing the filth uh, miasma will accumulate in the roots. I've lifted the barriers and defeated the demons created by these defilements. Just as the Grand Shrine has its branches, the Thunder Sakura are just the side branches of the Sacred Sakura in Mount Yogo. Uh, the five roots are the main parts. Most of the filth they absorb has in fact been transmitted to the Sacred Sakura deep within Mount Yogo. Uh, so the most important thing is to... Right. The key to the Sacred Sakura cleansing ritual is the last step, which is to lift the barrier over the Sacred Sakura and purify the miasma that has accumulated in its roots over the years. Wait a minute. The Sacred Sakura is at the Grand Narukami Shrine, right? If we tangle with those monsters right in the middle of the shrine, it could cause an uproar. There's no need to worry about that. The sacred Sakura's roots are sealed in the depths of Mount Yogo, uh, far away from the shrine. Will there really be no problems? Yes, you can trust me. If you say so, I guess we'll just have to do it. Thank you. Let's get this over with as quickly as possible. Alrighty then. The icon for the tree went dark there. I wonder if there's a reason for that. No special reason, it looks like. I'm pretty certain we're over time, in fact, uh, we've gone well over time, haven't we? 
Okay, actually not as much as I thought. There is a little trimming to do because of the uh, load time somewhere in the middle. Okay, so, I am definitely facing... Well, the camera's facing the general right way, but... Character, not so much. this again. There is a weird midsection to the mountain. I think that's where I need to descend. Yeah, there we go. This is the final barrier of the sacred sakura cleansing ritual. Two of you are ready. Hey, before we start, Paimon has some questions. Free to ask. You said that when the time comes, you would tell us everything. Yes. But if possible, could we wait until the cleansing ritual is complete? Sacred Sakura is constantly telling me of her agony. So I know it is rude to ask that you wait yet more. After all, you two have already done so much. I'm really sorry, I hope you understand. I trust you. Alright, but be sure to keep your word. Of course. Thank you both for your understanding. Well, I'm going to lift the barrier. East to the ocean depths, west to the cinder sea, south to the blazing light, and north to the waning waters. All branches and roots end this evil. <laughs> has been lifted. Well, what's next? This is a long descent. Now, please forgive me, but you will need to jump in next. Uh... <laughs> I, I can float down. We've already seen this. Uh... I don't think it's going to work out well for me. It looks so scary down there. Paimon just knows something bad's gonna happen once we jump down. Don't worry, though the sacred Sakura's roots may uh, brim over with filth, she can still tell the one performing the cleansing ritual apart from other things. It will bless you with a safe landing to cleanse the last of the miasma. This I promise. Really? Please, trust me. What do we do after we get down there? To put it shortly, just show your courage. The filth has condensed into a large tumor in the deepest part of Mount Yogo, and it is now tightly wrapped and suppressed by the roots of the sacred sakura. Attack the miasmic tumor, it will struggle when it is attacked, and may create demonic creatures to stop you. During this time, you will need to use the surrounding mechanisms to strengthen the suppressive force of the sacred sakura roots, just as you did with the five seals previously. Sacred Sakura will thus be empowered to coordinate with you and create opportunities for you to attack. Sounds really scary. Uh, well, I thought worse. Believe in your strength. Now then, won't you be coming along? When the battle is done, I will meet you down there to finish the cleansing ritual. I'm really sorry. As I said, I am prevented from completing this task by my physical condition. I hope you will understand. I'm on guesses this is it. So, how are your preparations going? I am ready. Okay, please step forward, then, and perform the final step of the Sacred Sakura Cleansing Ritual. If there's anything you want to ask about the purification, please feel free to ask me. Well then, I wish you all the best. <laughs> Well, now I know where some of these, uh, electro thingamabobs have been hiding. Oh, 
Oh, and I'm... Yep, environmental hazard. Darn it. Uh, looks like we've had a... a something. I'm just gonna get to it. Guessing uh, the top one's kind of the start. Wait a second. Yeah, okay. Let the show be. Maybe not. So, if this is one, let's make this one too. one will be four. In one, but now uh, reverse direction. Two. Uh, there we go. Three. But I think we're entering the final phase. Fall before me. 
something okay so looks like we have two twos and two threes Clee killed you twice in rapid succession. Let the show begin. Kill out the rest of my party at least. It is over. The agony that the, sacra that the sacred sakura has been going through uh, should have dissipated. Human child, you have done well. You truly are the destined one. Ooh, what a tough battle. It's a good thing Paimon has been training you well, Astro. Uh, thanks. I will leave your payment for you later, as we agreed. Uh, yeah, okay, I read that right. Uh, you shall not have to worry about that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't we agree on something else, too? After the Sacred Sakura cleansing ritual is completed, you're supposed to tell us your story. But... Uh... Huh... I'm divided between the first and the third one. Uh, I'd like to hear your tale too. Right, you can't go back on your agreement with us now. All right. For that, there is one thing that I am really sorry about. I haven't had a chance to formally ask you both your names after all this time. My name is Aster. Paimon's name is Paimon. Aster, Paimon, nice names. I'll keep them in mind. As I said earlier, I did inherit the memories of the Kitsune Saigu. Oh, Paimon's super curious about this part. Kitsune Saigu uh, was originally of the Hakushin bloodline, and she used to defend the people of Inazuma alongside the Electro Archon. I don't know how long ago it was, but in the end, she was consumed by the Dark Disaster while fighting to protect Na Narukami Island. However, the barriers that she set up in many places protected a great many people. Even though I just happened to have inherited her memory, and perhaps I overstepped my bounds in saying so, when 
I'm truly proud of her. Are you one of her familiars? Yeah, like the sky and earth kitsune? Now that you mention it, I did notice a very similar kitsune aura at the top of the mountain within the great Narukami shrine within the grand Narukami shrine. That's not the case with me. I am not one of her familiars, but rather the dark disaster that consumed her was finally dealt with. Her thoughts and memories returned to the soil of Narukami Island. Now you defeated many Ochimusha during the process of performing the sacred sakura cleansing ritual, did you not? Uh, you mean those ghostly samurai? They were pretty small beans. They are creatures created by the coalescence of filth. Their forms are often swayed by the thoughts and memories of the times. If you don't mind, please answer this question honestly. Is Inazuma presently shattered in war? Uh, what do we do, Astri? Uh, let's tell her the truth. Uh, I kind of feel like, uh, either way is, like, kind of the same. Seems to be the case. See, so it is as I feared. He told me that Ojimusha appeared, uh, during the purification of Thunder Sakura Root. I already sensed this. Well, as long as she is on the path she believes in. Back to the point, I, uh, Azari... I am still condensed from the memory of the Kitsune Saigu. How could that be? I suspected as much. Sorry that I couldn't fight along with you. I am unable to purify the filth because I was created from it myself. Her memories were so powerful that the dark disaster could not dissolve them completely. After the disaster was defeated, those memories flowed into the earth as fiery filth. That's how I was born. I said earlier that if only the Katsune Saigu had me around. Yes, I said that. If only the Katsune Saigu had someone like you at her side, perhaps she would have survived. How wonderful it would be if she had had the chance to meet you. When I think about that, I can't help but selfishly think that. If that had been the case, then I wouldn't have been born. I wouldn't have inherited her memories, nor would I have met you. So the you that I saw through the memento lens... Yes, that was me in the past. First, I was quite overwhelmed, but as my memories returned, I came to know where I was from, and I understood my duty. That means... Duty is to guard Narukami Island, cleanse the miasma, and finish the Sacred Sakura cleansing ritual. Wait, Miss Mask. No, Miss Kazari. If you're filth yourself, and the ritual's goal is to eliminate filth, doesn't that mean you'll be eliminated too? Well, the word eliminated sounds a bit much, but in terms of the result, you are correct. Oh, well, that can't be. When I first realized this, I felt very uneasy as well. But I've learned a lot about Inazuma through meeting you, and what I've learned relieves me. Uh, Yoroi uh, survived and, does, and doesn't seem to be depressed at all despite having been sealed in stone by Kanagara. And he doesn't seem to have a grudge against the Kitsune Saigu either. Although all is not as well as it once was, the bloodlines of Konda and Simon, or Simon in Konda Village still run true to this day, which is good. Inagi Misato of the Grand Shrine was once her friend as well, and that line endures. These are the descendants of the people she protected when the disaster struck. She would be proud to know that they were well, and that their bloodlines have been passed on. Still, I was a little agitated by the destruction of the catalyst that was given to uh, Hiragi Hiroshi, uh, Anjo Head, by the Kitsune Saigo. Saigo, wow. Uh, more than a little, I'd say. You're right. I was really bent out of shape about that. Still, I'm glad to see that it came to you, even through such twists and turns. I wonder if this is how I feel, or if this is how the Kitsune Sagu feels. In the past, I was often troubled by the fact that her mind was mixed with mine, and yet I was also something she was tasked to remove. 
Now I am relieved. It was a pleasure and an honor to travel with you. No, rather, it was because of you that I was able to come here and carry out my final duties. Are you really leaving? Yes, thank you for everything, Paimon. Please forgive me for overstepping, Aster, Paimon, or rather, please forgive me for overstepping. Uh, Aster, Paimon, please hear what I have to say. I'm listening. Do not be blinded, do not waver. Keep walking the path that you believe in. These were the Kitsune Saigu's last words before her final parting. I'm not qualified to claim that to claim the Hakushin bloodline for my own. But I believe that if the Kitsune Saigu were alive, she would give you her blessing. I hope that her words I mean my words will be able to ward off at least some of the lies and evil that you shall face in the future. Thank you. You're welcome. In exchange, please indulge me one final time. Kitsune Saigu always favored the beauty of short chance. Although I have inherited her memories, and the 1,111 chants she knew, I lacked the grace she possessed with them. This moment reminds me of one such chant. Shall we meet again after this parting, for life is like the morning dew. Sorry. Thank you, and goodbye. It was a pleasure to meet you both, Aster, Paimon. All branches and roots end this evil. I declare it purified hereby. screen. Spring oh. cleaning. Yay! Quest complete. Very beautiful now. Oh. After the glowing purple thing, there we go. There's even more Sakura Bloom down here. Sakura Bloom. I'm just out on the lookout for this stuff now. We can probably come back. There. Oh. I was hoping you were Sakura Bloom, but you're a Crystal Fly. Only our taller. Oh, I'm not gonna chase you. It looks like we. Never mind. One more batch. Or one last batch, I think, of uh, Sakura Bloom. Like that's officially that. 
and it's definitely well time to call it uh, an episode. I hope y'all enjoyed. Bye everyone.